Okay, this is um, to the esteemed inmate worker committee at the elite second to none Clatsop County Jailhouse, the highest rated county jailhouse in Clatsop County. I write to you with utter adoration, awe, and respect, and a depraved masochistic sense of unworthiness. It really is a privilege of staggering proportions to be held captive as your ward and as your prisoner. Never before have I felt so close to self-actualizing as I do within the confines of these beautiful, beautiful walls and under the unwandering wisdom of your whim, your orders, and your control. It goes without saying that my spirit, not just my body, belongs to you forever and ever and ever. Please accept my gratitude for bringing purpose into my derelict and perverted life and for making me feel complete. It is in submission to you and you alone that I have found salvation. Even a wretch like me, I once was lost, but now I am found, was blind, but now I see. Now, as I am sure you are fully aware, Senior Deputy Shaw, it has come to, to my attention that the cleaning cart here in the jailhouse has for days and days looked like total and complete shit. When I had the privilege of using the cleaning cart today, I was saddened to see it in this state of neglect, covered in layers of grime, dust, and nail clippings. Yes, human nail clippings, toe or otherwise. I hardly recognized it as the jailhouse cleaning cart that I once knew. Seeing our once proud and distinguished cleaning cart in such a state brought tears to my eyes and shame into my heart. And quite like my mother, I couldn't help but ask myself, where did the things go so wrong and how have we ended up like this? It feels like just weeks ago that I had the honor of tending our beloved cleaning cart, detailing it, stocking it, loving it more than myself. I was humbled by the opportunity to keep the cleaning cart immaculate and I did so with pride. It was the honor of my life. Those times are in fact referred to by some as the glory days of the cleaning cart, and they were without a doubt my own glory days. When I had the honor of being an inmate worker here in your benevolent facility, you could have eaten off that goddamn cleaning cart. It was so clean, almost too clean. Now, when I see our cleaning cart, I can't help but cringe and look away. It feels as though I am in a car speeding down a highway as I gaze out the passenger side window, watching the world go by, there I see it on the side of the road, a dog that has been badly hit by another car. It's standing there covered in blood, entrails strewn about. Fuck, the poor thing suffering. Immediately my heart goes out to it, this sentient being in pain. It is awful and I feel helpless and I have to look away in sadness and dis in disgust. And because I do not have a driver's license, I am not the one driving. So the car continues to hurtle forward and I know there is nothing I can do to help. Please let me help. Please give me license to drive the cleaning cart once again. With your blessing and your permission, we can turn this ship around before it's too late. Now to this you may say, Bull fucking shit, Bobby. Are you kidding me? After some of the shit you've pulled lately, some of the shit you've said lately, Jesus fucking Christ, man, you really got some nerve. I can't believe you. You know what? Just for that, go lock the fuck down. I really can't believe you. And to that I say, touche. But half the shit I do and say is really just to entertain myself. Let's be real. We all get pretty fucking bored in here. At least I'm trying to keep things interesting? Come on, lighten up. Life is so short. Anyway, I'll always be the first to admit that I really can be a little stinker. I really can be a shithead sometimes. Not only do I act up, but I act out. I've even been known to be something else, as they say. But hey, if you think about it, has a little criminal mischief ever really hurt anyone? Really? You know, I will never forget the time when I was still new here that Sergeant Stevens sat me down to say, this is no place for romance. As if this was news to me.
I thought to myself, wow, this just got fucking awkward. It is in the spirit of that, this same awkward silence that I want to say, please consider me again for inmate worker status. You know, if you need help folding onesies and keeping the cleaning cart clean. Love, your gayest inmate this year, Bobby Bucket. I submitted this letter to the jailhouse staff and received a response of, denied at this time, fuckers. <laughs>